Okay, we're back with Yoshi's Crafted World, and as fully expected, nobody has actually said anything about wanting me to make an effort towards doing something specific, so let's just keep on going. I, I honestly didn't expect anything more. So, yeah, yeah, let's let's just keep going and see where that leads. Also, that's a red exit, and it looks like it has a split path. Uh, Super Mario World had red exits, and that implied that, well, there was a second exit to that level. I'm not sure if that's because I haven't been in the level yet, or if that's because they're doing that here. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that. Standard stuff. Six six flowers. Ah, seems seems good. Let's see what we can get ourselves into here. Alright. Violently jumping shy guys that are ma made to be food. Brilliant. Uh, let's see. Well, we're on a train that doesn't fill me with confidence, given that the last time we were on a train, I missed things I needed. Oh, this is gonna be a full train level at this rate, isn't it? Hmm... So, basically an auto-scroller where I need to react quickly. Is that, that's the way it seems to me, and that was something I could have destroyed. It was such a big object that I feel like there's a chance it was gonna be something actually important. Also, apparently that wasn't the entire level. Okay. Uh, those are useless. Uh, let's see, there's a second train, but before we head on that... Huh. Ah, so I need to collect myself a train. Oh, I, I meant to say... I need to collect myself a bridge. The train seems to be in one piece. Uh, wow, that was incredibly easy. Oh, I'll gladly take it. Uh, is there anything here? If I can get like a jump off of Shy Guy here. Doesn't seem like it. Can I just flat out throw the train part from here? Because. Because no, I can't. Okay. Uh, why is there just a one random coin there? Also, probably should... Yep, yeah, yeah, you can't fool me, game. You can't fool me. Except when you can. Which is... Probably most of the time. Alright, so... Wow, I actually got 20 coins out of it instead of one. Alright, as long as I don't get hit ever, I should be set with the star requirements. And with that, I suppose I can move on with the train antiques. Not to be confused with the train antiques.
So, so far, this level hasn't made me react quickly towards anything. And I don't think I've necessarily missed anything. I almost certainly missed something there. And I can't say I'm a fan of that. That one shy guy in a very specific spot seemed a bit suspect to me. Okay, at least those are hearts, I don't need those. So, so far, we're doing mighty fine. And I, I, I think he just kind of clipped through the floor. Not sure how I feel about that. Mostly because that doesn't make sense. And I like I, I, I like it. And I hope the level isn't about to end because I don't have full health again. Uh, okay. Was that the big big twist of the level where you need to do that very quickly? Not actually that quickly, but, you know. Okay, at least I have full health again. I'm still missing... ...a flower, and I just took damage like an idiot. And I'm not going to get the health back, am I? Swear. Yeah, because this is the end of the level. And I miss one red coin. Which means I need to come back here eventually. On screen even. I definitely feel like it might have possibly maybe perhaps been on the... The shy guy on, on the mountaintop. So that sucks. It also sucks that I managed to screw up the parts at the very end. <laughs> but surprisingly not, not that long of a level and also not that bad and no it turns blue after it's beaten and it opens me for a level and another machine which for some reason is free for one turn I'm not sure if that's permanent like there is always a possibility that could could uh be something I need to do now, or otherwise never, so I'm gonna do that real quick and get... Garbage! Condor box! Wow, thanks. I don't have enough money to roll up a machine anyways, so... Let's keep on going. Mouses and magnets. Fair enough. Mouses are... Like mouses, but more so. And magnets are, well, magnets. Should have called it mouses and magnets, sir. Oh. 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 This could be a cool gimmick that I'm sure I'm definitely not going to accidentally softlock myself with somehow. Wonder if I can... If there's some potential in taking this magnet from here and actually manage to use it in a way to... Like, like I wonder if I can... If I can do like a specific jump where I could take this with me, I'm not going to spend time finding out because, frankly, I don't think the game expects me of that. That was almost a sentence. I don't expect that to be something useful. And... Frankly... I'm not confident I could do it. Huh. Okay, that might that might be good info. A 
butt stomp will will make it smash down. Definitely could be good info right there. So I was expecting a seed actually. Ah. Okay, okay, I'm into this. Is there something up here? Not really. Or may have murdered a poor sh shy guy. Uh, are the spear ones called spear guys actually? Because I, I think there's definitely a possibility they're called that. Jelly beans. Mm, this setup looks like I might be able to actually do this without this. If I did something specific. But I might need an enemy for it, so... You know, not much I can do. And as usual, the game can't fool me. Okay, so spear guy shields are stronger than eggs. Can you like bug it off? Please. Probably could have like repeatedly licked him so I could have access to his flower. Oh, th thank you, thank you. I was just thinking that's a pipe. It uh, turns out it was in fact a pipe. Give me that coin. You can't hide from me. I let you live for now, but I'm watching you. <sighs> Use the cookies, hearts. Twelve cookies. Huh? Don't think there's twelve. Or twelve. 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 Good thing there's 12 of them. Uh, yes. Okay, uh, that background object looks like... Definitely like a background object. That you need to come back for. No, you can't even interact with it. Whoa, that's wild. Oh, well, that explains it. Alright, uh, I guess I'll murder all of you just to be safe. Uh, being safe wasn't worth it. That's a present box. More Euster cookies, this time with flowers. Magnet can kill. Regular enemy. And again, looks like kind of a weird setup where I might be able to take this with me while staying on top of this. Let's see. I definitely want to have it like as high on this object as possible. I'm not sure why I'm doing this, by the way. Okay, no. It does actually go fast enough. But you can't really do that. Wonder if I can nab it, though. No, you definitely can't. It almost felt like there was, there was an invisible wall there, too. To make sure you definitely don't. Oh, that wasn't a red. Then die. Better, be, better not waste those too badly. Hmm. Jelly beans. Fruit flavored. And min. Sweet and fresh. Almost got speared. As is healthy. 
I am, after all, min fresh. Mi mi min fresh. Okay, I wonder if I missed something I could have done with that, actually. That worries me. I don't see anything up here. Oh dear. Um, I am clearly not doing the tongaru on your shield right now. Oh boy, my favorite. Apple? Apple? Okay. So far, those haven't mostly been the worst of the best. Oh no, another one. Uh, I like how the game doesn't even let me aim at that. Like, if, 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 if it doesn't target an object, also I've missed a flower. Might be up there though. Like, seriously, if, if, if the game, like, the, the mouses, mice, mice, moose, they, they threw the coin at a place, and it was kind of like, Okay, but we're not going to let you target it right now, so... Tough luck. So you just kind of couldn't do it then. That's kind of an issue. I mean, what's my gonna do about it? Also, can I finally... Tongue this? This does seem like something I can do. Yes. Yes. This didn't actually help me, but... I wonder... No, that's not what I wanted, actually. That's kind of the exact opposite. Though I do have an idea. There. Come on, this, this has to work. Yes. Yes. I don't know what this accomplished. Because, shockingly, it actually didn't. I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm just genuinely shocked that did nothing. Like, how did that not do anything? Oh, you need to use them here? But I do have to say, I, I, I like how it's... You can attach the magnet to the magnet and it will work. I almost hoped it was unintentional. And if I remove the first one, the second one would be like, Oh, well, I'm gonna just float up here now. For fun times. But I guess not. Uh, what we're looking at? Uh, two more and eight more coin. Eh, not promising. So this looks like the same thing as before, but more more com complimented. So I assume the mees are going to go back up there whenever they have time after the mouse has been cat cat even if you would kindly like die it would be nice also don't think I don't see the m m magnet can there I do Well, 
That's out. Do they just endlessly respawn here? Because I feel like that might be the case. And I am apparently incapable of shooting up this, so... Yeah, so... In that case, you just kind of want to acquire the magnets from them through any means necessary. And also, apparently, they can't actually damage me. Which is an interesting design choice of difficulty. And the magnet has slipped back up. Come on now, please. This section is hella annoying. I wonder if the the first one actually also had respawning mouse, mice, mice, moose. Because if it does, I feel like it probably was ten times more annoying than I gave credit for. Give, give. Angry. There we go. So, this is definitely vaguely secrety. Not exactly what I had in mind, but hey, if it works, it works. And that's worrisomely the second to last one I actually need. Because that means that there's a realistic possibility that I've missed a lot of red coin, and I don't know how that could have happened. I can get on top of this. Yeah, that's definitely something. Not very helpful though. I mean, it was two red coin, but I still need like six more. If you could kindly not be in my way. Okay, well that's another two. And I believe that's another one. Maybe. Or, you know, not. Mm, let's see. One thing that bugs me is that you can almost certainly... Oh wait, no you can't because there's this section I forgot. So no, you can't actually take the magnets from there. What do you want from me in this section exactly? I mean... You don't want me to have two magnets for this. I mean, yes you do. But do I have to? Also, I can probably save time by just doing that. But I also feel like there's probably a way to actually get a second magnet up here. Which would be nice. You son of a... Okay, I, I, I don't like where this is going. Because that right there is an indication that the level is already over. I'm missing red coins, I took another dumbass hit. And I, I don't like it. That didn't really do much for me, did it? There's definitely a secret back here, though. Somewhere. How is there not a secret there? I mean, there, there is, there is box. Give it that, but box, not do much. Wow. That's nothing? Wow. Wow, harder. Oh boy. I have to say, Yoshi games are not my strongest suit. Not very good at finding the things. Oh, wait. I was only missing one? Ech. No idea where that might be. 
also dumbass hit. Yay! Yeah. The back backtrack videos are going to be delightful, aren't they? Uh, you demand my attention, apparently. What you want? Curious rock. Yeah, yeah, so I did see that one. I know where it be. But also, I don't frankly care right now. Alright. 15? I only have 54. And, yeah. Oh boy, we have we, we have to individually throw each and every one of them at this boy. I thought that said that he's feeling super swole, which I I I, I don't doubt, but I also rather not not be aware of this. So taking note of the fact that. I'm yet to see even a single gem. So it sounds like this game isn't really all that hot on the world concept. Or I'm completely wrong because this is clearly a boss fight. But still. I'm a bit... Like, like it... I, I, I don't mind it. But it does make the world traveling more annoying, I guess. And more importantly, it doesn't give me a good idea of how much of the game there's actually left. This clearly tells me that there's probably four-fifths of the game left. And considering the levels are probably gonna get hella longer after this, that probably m means I'm like one-eighth through it. Meanwhile, he, he, he has a baby Bowser being usually lost. And a Kamek is present. Yo. Hmm. Let's see. Could he have already found some gems? Yup. I've got all five of them. Full of stuffing, huh? No, no, not really. Your shortness. So wait, are you just going to make a gem? Oh. I mean... He did kind of want a gem, not, not bird feed. So I, I, I don't really see this correlation here. Also... Also... That's... That's... That's not a bird. That's not a bird. Tin can condor. Well... I guess you can... Can it. Uh, can my magnet please actually hit? I'm honestly surprised that didn't work out the way I hoped. But I also... Did Sur find a dead spot for that attack? There it goes. Bah. Okay, so the actual boss fights do drop things. So getting hit might not be the in end of the world. But it also might be. Still pretty sure that's a that, that's a safe spot right behind that. 
Oh, thank you for the magnet. Wonder if you can actually hit hit that. Could go either way, I guess. Boing. Yeah, I'm I'm a bit worried since I did take a hit. Like a regular dumbass. But I don't think I'm gonna be taking a second hit, so maybe I'm fine. Also, couldn't help but notice that I did... Oh no. Oh no, it's jumping. I couldn't help but noticing that I did already get like... A, a nice healthy 100 coins. For doing basically nothing. Nice hit. Hella nice hit. I, I, I can... I can barely believe it. Alright. This tin can is going to the... Tin bin. Also, the last hit didn't give me... Any any heart, so that does mean that you need to beat bosses without taking damage. That's probably good info. Should probably keep that in mind. Yeah, but I'm not a cookie. There's 12 cookies somewhere. Don't know what the correlation here was, but shush. So, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Obviously, I don't need to show me do this boss fight again without taking damage. It's not that kind of a game where you need to put effort into that. Why Green Yosh? What, what? Green Yosh just comes here like, Okay, you found the gem. Now give it to me. I need to take credit for this shit. Sur. If you insist. Man, Green Yoshi is a bit of a piece of corn. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's possibly one fifth ish of the game done. I'm worried about the fact that the game doesn't really so far feature any kind of indication for secret levels, though that could change at any time. Like, I assume there's something if you collect all the all the flowers. Yes. Crumbles. Yeah. Oh. The game just stopped being linear. Oh, that's actually neat. Of course, it's also kind of dubious in terms of difficulty, but sure, why not? So yeah, as, as, as I was saying something, not sure what I was saying exactly, I do kind of feel like it would be... Li like, in Woolly World, the game overall was kind of too easy for my tastes. Which, fair enough, it's a Yo Yo Yoshi game, that's expected, but the extra levels were actually kind of hella hard, and they were a lot of fun for that. So, I was hoping, I, I was low-key hoping that the game would be overall slightly more difficult, but... Not if, if we don't get that, I'm still probably completely fine with it as long as we get a few. That's something. Oh, it was a Monty Mole. For a moment, I thought it was Crash Bandicoot's bees level enemies. It wasn't actually the bees. It was actually you avoiding the bees, as you should. 
But yeah, yeah, it it, it was. I, I I hope we get some decent end levels, basically. Obviously, it's still going to be a small minority of the game, but it will be a small minority of fun game. Also, apparently, killing killing piranha plants. Thank you, flower. Thank you, good gameplay. So, apparently, killing piranha plants can, in fact, lead to random piles of coins, which may mean that they do also award me some potential red coins or flowers or whatever important stuff I want and require, and Dante looks like that. Oh. Hold on, what even happened? <coughs> what happened there? Did I? I, I? I screwed myself over, and I, well, I probably could have salvaged it by floating to this spot, but did I bounce off of my own egg to save myself? Because if so, that was sick. And I, I, I want to do more of that. Damn. I, 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 I seriously do need to look at the footage of that afterwards again to see if that's in fact what happened because I hope it was. Nice. Of course this is bad because now I can spend a lot of hours making really bad decisions about how to play the game, such as trying to save myself with some really dumb setups. You can't hide from me. Alright, uh, so, so far no level has been even close to as long as that one level that was really, really long. I wonder why. Like, like specifically, I wonder why the hell was that one single level so excessively long? Like, I would expect that from a Yoshi game, like late game stuff, because historically, these games do kind of suffer from level length bloat, because that's definitely a word. So, I'm definitely kind of maybe wondering if that's indication of the future or if that's just weird. Given the non-linear nature of the game, I guess that might not be the norm though. So, let's see. How, how long until someone starts making videos on, on on this game on Can you beat the game without ever actually touching the ground or something? Because that sounds like something that could be fun. And by fun, I mean probably not even remotely possible. And more importantly, probably not fun. And uh, I kind of need egg. Luckily, there was many egg to be had. I mean, I'm not even sure how doable that would be. Like, with the first game, it might be doable. Because a perfect flutter would gain you a minimal amount of height, I think. I think that's how it just flat out works. But... Re really? Okay. Oh, it, it needed second... Se second egg. 
Okay, okay. So since I, I haven't failed those yet, I wonder if it, it allows you to repeat it, though. Ah, okay. But yeah. That game, it would be possible, I think. However, it wouldn't be fun. Because from what I remember, perfect flutters are an absolute misery to do. And not something anyone would want to involve themselves in. Alright, at least I'm back at full health. Nailed it. Okay. I have to say, I'm not particularly impressed by the soundtrack of the game. And I, I did hear some words about it not having that much of musical variety, which is unfortunate. You know what else is unfortunate? Me being hella bad at this game. God. Okay, so how do I get here? Literally by walking, apparently. Fair. So... Wait, how did I miss... How did I miss a flower? I really need to be paying more attention to that, but... How the hell did I do that? I don't get it. Well, I hope that wasn't a red coin or anything. Wouldn't want to be missing one of those. Because I'm missing two. Oh, that's the end of the level. Hey. That's not very promising, is it? Okay. And uh, as usual, I took a dumbass hit. So... Habergorn. Okay, uh, I don't really want to start as next level at this point since there's not necessarily that much time. So if I zoom out on this... Okay, so you can jump to places. Okay, that's good design. Thank you. Uh, let me head real quick to the machine that's next on the list. This one. And let me get all the collectibles from here. And I think I might have enough time to do like one Gucci hunt. Since that's definitely exciting. Oh my, I wonder if I got the super rare one. Derby sheep. Regular sheep. Trash. Box. Truck. House. Why? Go, go. Grass. Snail. Truck. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I, get, I, I guess I can kind of go to the earliest level that requires pooch hunts. Since that won't be that long. And I would even say it's the opposite of long, which is short. So, this one then. I also apparently need to find five cows here. Not sure if I can combine Poochie Pup hunting with that particularly efficiently though. So yeah, let's let's do this and then we can call it an episode. It was a good episode. So
So we start with the train ride. That's not a waste of time at all. Well, it's definitely sped up. God. Well, fair enough. That didn't take that long. The problem is that this part of the level is kind of non-linear, which means that the Poochies may all be in this section. I'm also keeping my eyes open for cows. Though I think they're all in the foreground, so... So it might be difficult to actually get those. Also, that entire loop was kind of useless. Which worries me. Shy guy. Shy guy, please. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not actually seeing, like, any cow. Oh. Wait. No. For a moment, I thought that was the last pooch. It wasn't. Okay, well, I just need to find the last one, and I'm probably nearly at the beginning by now, so that'll be it. I mean, this is the first level. You can't expect it to be exactly the paragon of difficulty here. So I figure I can probably use these pooch hunts potentially as kind of short end of episode things if need be. Just as a safety measure since they won't take that long. Like if I'm over 40 minutes I might as well. Alright, so that's everything in Roll Yard Run. Lovely. So... Yeah, honestly, with that, I think we can pretty much call it an episode, and next time, next time we can, also looking at the menus here, I see, not entirely sure what all of this means. But I think it's probably related to collecting the stuff. So that that looks like it could get annoying really fast. Okay. Oh, you can skip to a specific level from there too. Okay, that's good. So yeah, next next time. More arts and crafts. Bye.